What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, uh, yeah. Well, we captured Mewtwo, and we found our legendary bird Pokemon. Now it's on the loose and all that crud, and now we're gonna go more legendary hunting and all that stuff. Yeah, it, I, 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 I kind of sound excited, but, you know, uh, this legendary Pokemon is a uh, pain in the you-know-what. So, let's go right ahead and just go look for this guy. So, in this episode, we're going to be capturing Zygarde, the Z Pokemon of this whole series. And again, I'm still very upset about the fact that, hey, you know, uh, you know, where's Pokemon Z? Where's the third Pokemon version? Or fourth, I don't even know. Instead, they came out with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and... Well, I flew back to the same spot that I was at. That's just me just, you know, complaining, complaining. So what we need to do now is we actually have to go straight to, let's see, I think it's the frost? No, it's not right there. It's right here somewhere. The Termin or Terminus Cave. You guys remember we went there a while back, eh, explored it and all that crud, battled a few more trainers and everything and then we saw somebody that blocked our way from never getting into another entrance right there you know because we're not cool and all that stuff so here we are in Kurue town let's go back and find this, Zy this Zygarde so anywho guys um yeah that wasn't supposed to happen I I I, I, I do not have the uh, repel on because I kind of want to look for that uh, that Moltres right here remember in order to find that legendary bird Pokemon it doesn't matter what Pokemon you start with or what Pokemon, legendary Pokemon you're you're going after? You have to find it a total of ten times. So right now I am at a, at a hard one right now. Kind of sucks, cause uh, yeah. Anywho, like I was saying, uh, yeah. One of my biggest complaints about this series right here, Pokemon X and Y, is the fact that there is no Pokemon Z, or basically another you know extended version of this whole thing right here. And crud baskets on a basketball. We don't have anybody with uh, Rock Smash, so now we're going to have to like, start teaching Pokemon new moves and all that stuff. Now, normally there would always be a third version, or uh, in, in the case of like many of these walkthrough games or games that have been coming out, uh, two extra exclusive games, you know, like Black and White 2, um, let's see, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon... Let's see, what, what what kind of moves do I need to change this guy? I'm going back and forth. I'm sorry, guys. This guy has Brick Break. I do have Brick Break, so I'm just going to take it away. So, yeah, there have been those, but in Pokemon X and Y series, there has only been X and Y. No X and Y 2 or Pokemon Z, as many of you guys speculated back in the day. And there's only been what? Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Now, to be quite honest, guys, it actually... It didn't fulfill, like, my need for this series, because believe it or not, Kalos is actually one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite, uh, regions in the, in the Pokemon world. It actually got me addicted to it, and holy crud, there's a Shuckle! Hmm. I should probably catch it. Yeah, maybe later. It does have a high defense for a puny Pokemon, okay? So, we're here to capture Zygarde, not Shuckle, Zygarde. Now, I'm trying to find my way into this place, and, uh, well, I think I'm in the wrong area right here. I think I need to go upstairs. But, yeah, like I was saying, guys, uh, it didn't really fulfill my needs into this 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 whole thing. Uh, I know that there was a lot of things left unsaid into this version of this game, or the, the series of this, uh, or this region. And I kind of wish that, you know, Nintendo kind of kind of came out with another walkthrough. And, uh, oh, my God, I'm going to capture this guy. It's a Noibat. Okay, so for those who don't know, Noibat is a pretty rare Dragon-type Pokemon right here. And I'm going to capture it. I'm going to capture this Pokemon right here because I can. Actually, it's one of my... In, in, in X and Y, they do come out with two interesting Dragon-type Pokemon. One that's like a seahorse and one that's like a bat right here. This guy right here was being speculated to be like a noise type Pokemon. Like whatever the heck that was. And well, let's go right ahead and well throw some Pokeballs at it while we're at it. So yeah. Fulfill need my needs weren't fulfilled with this this whole thing right here, guys. Uh and uh, you know, they kinda dropped the ball. They really did. Uh Zygarde didn't really get any kind of like uh Well yeah, we captured it. Zygarde didn't really get any kind of, like, uh, attention until Pokemon Sun and Moon when its cells got separated and all that stuff. 
To me, that, 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 that that's just dropping the ball right there. Look at this, guys. We caught ourselves a Noibat, a Flying and Dragon type Pokemon. It is 1 foot 8 inches. Weighs 17.6 pounds of pure little muscle. Subtle wave Pokemon right here. They live in pitch black caves. Their enormous ears can emit ultrasonic waves of a two, 200,000, 200 and, you know, 2 million? Two, two, I, I don't even know, guys. 2 million uh, hertz. That sucks. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so that is a hard no. And, well, let us move on right here. So, yeah, I, I kind of feel like there was a lot of things left and said. Zygarde was left out until the very end right here and it wasn't until Sun and Moon that you know it got a somewhat of a proper well nah, I, I can't really say it got any kind of anything proper guys comment down below what your opinions of, of this game or the series is like for me kind of it kind of dropped the ball on something very very good something with a lot of potential now I've been hearing from a bunch of uh, other Poketubers out there that you know well, before uh, Sword and Shield came out, or what the third, uh, the third or fourth installment of the of this uh, of the series uh, was going to come out, that they should install both Kalos and uh, what was it, Galar, into the series because France and England, they are neighboring countries and all that stuff, and it could be a good send off to the Kalos region, which you know, of course, didn't really get a lot of, uh, well, it didn't get a lot of anything from, you know, from a standpoint right here. And, uh, well, there's going to be a lot of confusion into this whole area right here, guys. Don't worry about the trainers. I've already battled them. And, let's see. Yeah, we're going to be battling some Pokemon from the top floor. And would you look at that. There is another Noibat. And you guys already know me. I'm going to capture this guy. Because, uh, yeah, capturing... Yeah, raising this Pokemon is, is hell. There is a good reason to why this guy is at level 44. Because it does evolve late. So I'm going to use another Thunder Wave, risk uh, Gardevoir getting, you know, fainted and all that stuff. And yes, you are paralyzed. Tailwind is on the way. Doesn't really affect me much. And it blew my opposing uh, Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and throw in another Dust Ball right now. Yeah, buddy. Now another thing too that really disappointed me about this, about this series is the fact that, you know, the after game. It's very, very short, guys. It is very short. And wow. That was very easy. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. So we caught ourselves another Noivad now. Again, you guys are wondering why am I capturing two of each? It's easy, guys. I want to complete. I uh, want to kind of like expand the Pokédex in this, and then I kind of want to send a Pokémon over to another version. And uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm kind of stocking up on Pokémon, exclusive Pokémon, and all that stuff. Yeah, like I was saying, guys. Uh, the after game, not a lot. Uh, trust me, there's not a lot of episodes left into this walkthrough. Uh, the next episode, I would like to say, will be a, will be us trying to capture Moltres or the legendary bird of whichever Pokemon you've actually uh, you've actually found. As you can see, it doesn't take us that long to go to where the area where Zygarde's located. And look at that. Now, originally there was somebody right here waiting for us, saying that you can't enter this location until you are the champion. Now that we're the champion, we can go in and uh, do whatever the heck we want. And uh, holy crud, it is uh, quiet in here. There's no music. Uh, drips, drips, drips. Holy crud. And uh, oh my god. Yes. So would you look at that. It's a big ass Pokemon. It's a very, very tough Pokemon. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to heal up my Pokemon because... Uh, yeah, this Pokemon is tough. Secondly, I am probably going to be putting out Ampharos first because, uh, believe it or not, this Pokemon, it is a ground-type Pokemon, and I do not have a move that can actually uh, paralyze this guy. It's a ground-type. So uh, first, let me see if I can actually do something to it. Hold on. There's a move here that I can actually uh, put it to sleep or, you know, paralyze it. Or, well, I could freeze it, but that's going to risk. Well, that's going to kill it. I can't poison it. You can't burn it. Oh, crud. Yeah, so they probably should have made a little bit more for sleeping. This is some BS. Okay. So what's going to happen is I'm going to try and get a contact para paralysis right here. And, well, I'm going to save the game. Remember, guys, save your game because uh, these legendary Pokemon only come once. All right, Zygarde. Let's do this. 
All right, let's make our let's make a prayer right here. Dear Arceus, stay out of this. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! I love this music. It's pumping me up right now. It's giving me goosebumps. Let's go! As you can see, it has a roar break. Oh man, and this is another thing that I love about Kalos, the legendary theme song. It's a freaking badass. So, I'm gonna try something new right here. I'm gonna throw a quick ball just for the fact that, you know what, like, it, it does give us a little bit of a percentage to capture this guy. I could use the Master Ball, but that is the last resort. So, let's go ahead and use that quick ball. Come on! Come on! Stay in the ball. One. Damn it! Okay, so that, that was a no-go right there, and... Well, here comes an earthquake attack. Balls! Okay, so... That's going to be tough right there. So we need to attack this guy one more... Well, we need to hit him with something. And this guy is coming out with a camouflage, so... It transformed into a rock type, so... Kind of, I still can't hit it with a, with a paralysis or anything. I don't think this guy has, like, any contact moves. So what I'm going to do right now is going to go with the signal beam. And here comes a Dragon Pulse. It's glowing. And uh, there goes Fluff Bolt. Good gravy. Okay. I can do this. Alright. Let's go. Maximum effort. Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Go. God, I love this song. I really do. It pump it's pumping me up right now. And here comes its Aurora Break. And, well, let's see. I can't use, uh, I can't use Thunder Wave. My best bet right now is just to uh, use Shadow Ball right here. I can't use uh, what you might call it, uh, Dazzling Gleam, because I'm afraid I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess it up. And here comes a Crunch Attack. Not so effective because you know Psychic and Fairy type Pokemon. So let's go again. Shadow Ball. Dark Kamehameha for the win. And here comes an Earthquake Attack. Oh, gravy. Okay, so this is the part where it gets a little tricky now. I haven't given it any status effects, so what I'm going to try and do is go for timer balls right here. Because the more you throw, the more, you know, the more easier, or it, the easier it becomes to actually capture the Pokemon. And, uh... Oh, wow! <laughs> I thought I was going to capture it right there! And here comes its crunch attack. Uh, you suck. So that's two Pokemon down. Now I gotta bring in a wall right here. Somebody that won't be affected much. Let's go, Godzilla Godzilla. It's taking away its uh, earthquake attack. Doesn't need to do that. So let's go right ahead and use another Time of Ball right here. Again, Master Ball is last resort. Don't really know why a Master Ball is needed in this game since, you know, the roaming Pokemon doesn't want us to attack again. Not until the 10th time. And here comes another Dragon Pulse. Dragon Kamehameha. Okay, you cannot destroy my Godzilla Godzilla because he's at level 75. Come on, stay in there. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in there. God damn it. Yeah, this Pokemon is a little tough, and he's got a little camouflage going on. Does not work. All right, so obviously this Pokemon does not have any contact or any physical attack. So we're going to try and capture it with some timer balls right here. Luckily, we got like 40 of them and all that stuff. And, well... Here comes another camo camouflage. So, again, timer ball. Let's go. Come on, stay in there. Stay in there. Stay in the ball. Come on. Damn you. Uh, you suck. And, of course, he's trying to use camouflage. Not working, buddy. Here we go. Timer ball. For the win. Come on, stay in there. God dang it. You know, I do have dust balls. And here comes its crunch attack. And, wow, that's, that's its contact. Oh, never mind. But unfortunately, uh, yeah, our good old buddy Amphros is an electric type Pokemon, so it's gonna get hit with an earthquake, so uh, there's no way around that. And this guy is just, yeah, he's not having it. He wants to hurt us badly, so here comes a Dragon Pulse again. And, well, let's give it one more timer ball before we have to heal our Pokemon right here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby Jesus. One, two, come on. Damn it! All right. Zygarde, you're being a little slit right now. All right, we're going to risk it again. Timer ball. Let's go. Come on, baby. Stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. You know you want to stay in the ball. You know you want to be my Pokemon. There's three. Come on! Oh! 
<laughs> oh no, you suck. Ugh, okay, so here comes another earthquake. It does not work. So what I'm gonna try, I'm probably gonna just like let him run out of earthquake attacks. I think he's hit me with five of them already. Come on, baby. One, two, three. Yes. Ah. Okay. All right. I'm cool. I'm cool. Collected. I'm 30 years old. I don't need an. I don't need a heart attack right now. I am going to risk it. Let's go. Timer ball. Let's go. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the... God damn it. Alright, you a-hole. And he's trying to use Earthquake. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm, I'm actually going to have to heal Godzilla right now. Because chances are this guy's going to get smartened up and, uh, you know, he's going to hurt me. So, let's go with Godzilla, Godzilla. Full restore. Alrighty. Okay. So, he's coming out with a camouflage. And you know what? Let's go ahead and risk it again. Let's go and uh, revive our Amphra. Because I do believe Zygarde does have, like, maybe, just maybe one more earthquake on him so let's go ahead and have fluffle just in case that way if it tries to hit me with a crunch or a dragon pulse or if it tries to hit me with a crunch it's gonna get paralyzed afterwards so let's go ahead and throw these pokeballs again come on timer balls help me out help good old draven out we need to complete this walkthrough damn it we need to get to the uh alolo region and yes your camouflage is not working oh boy so I don't know why you're doing that. Let's go. Timer ball. Stay in the fucking ball. One. Two. Damn it! Okay. Do excuse the, 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 the profanity, guys. This is the reason why I did not want to go capture legendaries. Because this... This happens right here. And then it resorts to a bunch of master balls and all that crud. So, here we go. Come on, timer ball. Finish him. Damn it. Alright. Does he have an earthquake? No, he's got crunch. Okay, I'm going to try and risk it right now. He's hitting me with crunches. Chances are he might he might have ran out of uh, of what you might call it uh, of earthquake attack. So come on, Flub Volt, do me this favor. Let's go. And God dang it! Well, I've been duped. Okay, so he survived that one. Uh, let's go ahead and throw another timer ball. Come on, come on! Stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. One, two, three. Come on! Oh, no! Why? And, wow, okay, alrighty. Oh, God. Come on. Come on, I'm kissing this Pokeball. Be the one that's lucky. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay. God dang it! Damn you, Zygarde. Why you have to be so hard? Okay. Giggity. So, let's see. You know what? Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon just in case this guy has another Earthquake in his arsenal. Let's go, Fluffolt. You know you want to get hit by a Crunge. That's our only way to try and capture this guy. And he's using Camouflage like if it was no tomorrow. So that must mean that he ran out of uh, Earthquake attack. So let's go with another Timer Ball. I know we got a Master Ball here, guys, but I'm not going to risk that. Come on. Damn it. Damn it, Zygarde, just bite my Pokemon. Stop using camouflage, you, you freaking asshole. See, I really, I, I really don't want to cuss right now, but god dang it, this guy's... Come on. Oh, I was about to say, no, the lackiness. And, oh, he had an earthquake. Uh, luckily, I healed up my Pokemon, and that was not a critical hit. So, if you guys have been counting, please, please be patient. Okay, so let's go. Timer ball, go. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the goddamn ball. Stay in there! Okay, you're forcing my hand. Oh no! Bastard. Okay. Alright, he opened a can of worms that he is not gonna come back from. You're gonna get captured. I'm having a I'm having that moment right there, like in animes. Where like he finally discovers the way to defeat this guy. The heart of the cards moment. You know that that, that moment right there, guys? Well, it's gonna happen. I'm going to revive my Pokemon because I know you ran out of uh, earthquake attacks here, you slut of a Pokemon. You, yeah, yeah, you, you, you know. I've recently been watching uh, some Harry Potter. This motherfucker right here is from Slytherin, right? He's freaking Slytherin. So I'm reviving my Pokemon. Yes, you ran out of freaking earthquakes. I'm hoping. All right, I'm gonna throw a Pokeball. I'm gonna throw a Pokeball at this guy. Come on. Come on. Or I could go with a dust ball, you know. It is in a cave, and it's kind of like night right now. 
thanks to Daylight Savings and good gravy. Alright, oh, look at that, you see? You see? Draven Smart. Okay, let's go with the... Uh, where's the dust balls? I need to get those dust balls. Okay, so we got 44 of them. Let's go. Let's have more effects on this. Alrighty, you're in a cave. You're going to stay in that ball. Even fitting, because it's your color scheme. And, uh, crud, this guy is not having it right now. If I see this guy hitting himself with, like, uh... Uh, struggle, then that's the master ball moment. And one. God dang it! Come on. There's a crunch attack. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, so its defense has fallen. Okay. Come on. Please let me be right. Alright, I'm gonna switch out my Pokemon. Come on, Fluffolt. You gotta give him some static right here. And it okay, it's confused or not, it's camouflage. And uh, we're gonna throw some, uh, we're gonna throw the dust balls away. Here we go. Come on, come on, baby. Stay in there, stay in there, stay in there. Come on, you know, you want to live in there. Mewtwo does. Ah, oh, crap, baskets. Okay, alrighty. And yes, okay, please, please get paralyzed. Yeah, buddy. Part of the cards moment right here. All right, Zygarde. I'm sick of your shit, so here we go, Dust Ball, eat it. You're gonna be uh, in there. One, damn it! Okay, just because it's paralyzed doesn't mean that it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna uh, stay down. Okay, so my Pokemon are fainting, and well, it's time to go for. You know what? Let's go. Let's go for something different. Now that it's paralyzed, I'm, I'm pretty damn sure the Timer Ball will work. Come on, please work. Come on. Stay in there. Stay in there. Come on. Stay in there. Damn it! Think, come on, Lord. Damn. And here comes a Dragon Pulse to finish off my Pokemon. Okay. Fluffold, I am so sorry for making you faint three times. But, come on. You gotta help a brother out. Okay. Let's go not to Bone Saw right here because it's a Dragon type. And, uh, alrighty. Godzilla. Be my tank. Here we go. Timer ball. Stay in the effing ball. Come on, one. Damn it! Alright, we're probably gonna have to go with our ultra balls right here, and this guy's using camouflages. Okay, come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Come on! Come on, don't be cool. Oh, come on. Be cool, man! Uh and here comes a Dragon Pulse. Maybe, just maybe, my Pokemon tanks it out. And no, Godzilla doesn't tank it out. Good God, okay. All right, Kakashi Hitake, ready to go. And crap, I think Kakashi could have learned uh, Hypnosis. Good gravy. Yeah, I just thought of that, so whatever, guys. I'm just going to throw a timer ball. Come on, stay in the ball. Damn it! All right, you a-hole Pokemon. And yes, you are paralyzed, you asshole. All right. Part of the cards, guide me. Alrighty, come on. Stay in the ball, stay in the ball. One, two, come on. Damn it! Ah, uh, God, this is gonna be like 30 minutes long and uh, here comes its crunch attack. Uh, okay, so it won't affect me very much. That's a good one, so let's go. Timber ball, finish it. Come on, baby, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball, come on, stay there. One more, one more, one more. Yes! Yes! Eat it, Zygarde! Eat it! And look at that, Kakashi grows level 73. Look at that! Alrighty! Look at that, okay, okay! That's right. Pimp hand, right here. I'm flipping you off, Zygarde. That was a work. So, as you can see, Zygarde, the order Pokemon. Both dragon and ground type Pokemon. It, it, you know, 16 feet, 5 inches, 672 pounds of pure muscle. When the Kalos region's ecosystem falls into disarray, it appears and reveals its secret power. Hmm, so Zygarde was a secret power. Alrighty, Zygarde. I am not going to nickname you, but I'm going to put you into the PC. Yes, sir, look at that. And that is pretty much it right there. So there's a few things that you can actually recover into this area right here. Now, if you go to, to this area right here, you'll actually find a Grisius Orb, which will actually help, uh, I think, uh, what was it? 
Giratina turn into its different form right here, its alternate form. Now, there are quite a few other, er uh, well, another uh, items in here, so I'm just going to show you where they are at. Uh, right here, you're going to actually find an adamant orb, which I believe you can actually give that to one of the... I think it's uh, Palkia or Dialga, one of those two. Comment down below just to, you know, re-educate me on that one. And then, uh, let's see. Let's go towards this section right here. And uh, let's see, will we find another Pokeball right here? Yes, I'm going to use another Repel because, yeah, I don't want anybody else attacking me. And here we have the Lustrous Orb. Again, for one of the Sinnoh region Pokemon, which to me, again, you see why I feel like this uh, this region right here is incomplete because of that stuff right there. And, well, if you go into this section, I think, well, you'll find something here. Yes, you'll find yourself a big nugget, very useful for more money. And, uh, well, time to get the heck out of here because I am uh, I am exhausted. That was a lot of uh, trying to capture the Pokemon right there. So, here we go. Escape ropes. Thankfully, I saved a buttload of them. And here we are back out. The Valle Etote away. Okay. So, let's go back to... Let's go back to town. And let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our new Pokemon, Zygarde, right here. And, well... I got Moltres to try and capture and all that stuff, which is ridiculous and all that stuff. So, let's see. Going to Cassius PC, and as you can see, it's not in this section because I captured a few bet Pokemon. Uh, let's see. Ah, there you are. There you are, Zygarde, you a-hole you. Zygarde. Not going to move. Hold on. Summary. So here it is, guys. Zygarde, of course, is no gender on this Pokemon right here. It's both Dragon and Ground type. That's the reason why I couldn't, uh, you know, try and uh, paralyze it from the get-go. Its strongest, uh, its strongest stat right here is its physical, uh, physical defense. It has Aurora Break, which if the effects of Aurora abilities are reversed, so meaning any anything from Evil Tall or uh, Xerneas. Those effects that they have will not work against this guy right here. And as you can see, it does have a nice move set: Crunch, Earthquake, Camouflage, and Dragon Pulse. And it does have a quiet nature. It's capable of taking hits, which is good. It's a tank Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, that is pretty much it for this episode right here, guys. It's been a long time coming. Yes, I get it. Uh, I could have done this early on, but, you know, I've had a lot of stuff to do uh, in my personal life and all that stuff. So now, here is a little bit of a, you know the plans of what's going to go on within the next few days uh obviously we still need to get moltres you need to find them 10 times and right now i'm already stuck at one so that's gonna be you know uh that's kind of that's gonna be you know uh, a mission for me so what i'm going to try and do is i'm actually going to try and find it eight more times before i could find it the 10th time and then you know i'll feature right there after that i'm going to be doing the looker episode i think there's like five chapters of those probably Five episodes, maybe? I don't even know, guys. But that will probably be it. Uh, what I'm trying to say right here is Pokemon X is basically complete, guys. Uh, it's going to take a backseat to the other walkthroughs that I will be doing now. As you guys all have already noticed, I've actually come out with Pokemon Red, Blue, and eventually Gold is going to make its way into uh, the non-narrated section right here onto my channel. So make sure to check all that stuff out. Uh, in the meantime... In my private time, you know, not downtime and all that stuff, I am recording the Pokemon episodes for Pokemon Sun and Moon, so that's on its way, guys. Now, remember, December 19th, 10-year anniversary for my channel right here, so that will be the day where I'm going to be coming out with a buttload of episodes and all that crud, and it's a big old celebration and all that stuff. And plus, hopefully by the time we get to December 19th, we will have already hit 8,000 subscribers. So again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being so, uh, supportive of this this whole episode right here. Another episode of Pokemon X will be coming out as soon as I can try and find this Moltres uh, 10 times and all that stuff. So again, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.